Hello again, I am Blunty and on this gorgeous Monday evening here in Sydney I have travelled to Circular Quay and if you're not familiar with the geography of Sydney, Australia, that's where the big bridge and opera house is. And I've come here for one very specific reason and that's because Microsoft have invited me to have my brain experimented on while I play video games. And I know what you're thinking, allowing Microsoft to experiment on my brain sounds like a really awesome plan, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm a little bit worried. Now, early last week, I saw a posting on Microsoft Australia's Twitter page with a little web link on it, which went to a very sparse page, inviting people to fill out a little uh, questionnaire competition entry form thing for people who wanted to participate in some sort of experiment for a product that's coming out later this year. My first instinct, of course, was to think about Project Natal, but now that I've been actually selected and they've invited me here, I'm told what it's about. And I'm going to be playing the highly anticipated psychological thriller Alan Wake. And this isn't even one of those special events that I sometimes get invited to on the basis of me being an internationally famous YouTuber or anything like that. I entered the competition like anybody else, just on the website. Just popped in my name and away we go. I was selected just like anyone else. So I feel kind of uh, fortunate. So I submit to having myself experimented on and my brain probed in the name of science and for gaming. As the sun set over Sydney Harbour, I and my fellow experimentees were bundled into a water taxi before arriving at another location. We were then promptly blindfolded, had hoods placed over our heads and were thrown in the back of a small bus, taken to a secret location, hooked up to some medical monitoring equipment and sat down to play Alan Wake. While you are immersing yourself tonight, we'll you up with some wireless heart rate monitors. We used heart rate data tonight um, because it's actually a really powerful measure of what your nervous system is doing. I think the scariest part was the suspense part. People think walking through the house and going up the stairs is obviously quite creepy. I'd say they're going to have some pretty strong sympathetic nervous system activity. You can tell it was going to happen and then you still jumped anyways. Elevated heart rates coming into the game. Pretty strong fight or flight response. Old lady, you probably popped out and just went, ah! My heart monitor, These guys are definitely feeling anxious. It's crazy. <laughs> I've never played anything that's quite like it. So if you could um, sum up the game on the level would be? Tense. It felt a little bit Stephen Kingish, to be honest. Once you get past the sort of introductory stage where you start sort of getting into the story proper, it's sort of uh, it's very compelling. It's felt like this guy's sort of flipping between two various versions of Nightmare World, flipping between two time slots as well. So sort of very disjointed, discontinued, probably more than a little disturbed. Very tense at moments, uh, very funny in places too. Very clever references to pop culture. The voice acting was superb. Very exciting. Um, really set the mood, got you uh, involved and enveloped and sucked you into the world of Alan Wake. 